Hello everyone, and welcome to ES Repair again. I'm your host, WizKid. Today I'm going to give you a brief demo on how to uh, test the LED. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. They kind of have the same function as a regular diode. And, uh, but the thing to it is, while they'll kind of conduct, I know we ain't got more than two minutes. Anyway, they only conduct one way, but they won't handle the voltage that a regular diode, as Mr. Fixit did it on another video. And they have very, very low tolerance for reverse voltage or peak and burst. Okay. LED can range from one like this to like a dual one like this. In other words, they're all shapes and sizes. Some of them are clear. And they're also a color like this one here is green. While this one is red. And this one here is red. But if you notice, it's round. Well, this other one is kind of flat square-like. Okay. You can test them with a meter, too, and you do that by putting it, the meter in the diode symbol with the little arrow there, the little plus-like sign in front of it right there, and they only conduct one way. You got a, the side that's got the cuff on it, it's called the cathode, the other side is the anode. You can also tell some diodes. The hot side, which is the anode, is a little bit longer than the leg on the cathode, which is a little shorter. And some diodes have a marking on it, like this one here has a flat side on one side, and that marks the cathode or the cold side. And on the, di the diode check, it'll put out just enough voltage for, if you can see it, make it light up just a little bit. But if you reverse the pins, See, nothing happens. But if you reverse them back, see, it lights up. And not only that, but it also tells you the voltage that it takes to trigger it. In this case, it's like, it was like one volt there. A little over one and a half. Okay. Another way to do it is you can also check it with ohms. It won't light up. Most LEDs won't cause voltage ain't bright enough. But you can tell if it's conducting one way or not. And the ohms are identified by a little horseshoe, as we said in an earlier video. See, it's not conducting anything. But if you switch it around. It might light up a little bit. It all so it all depends on the diode. Some diodes it takes 12 volts. The newer ones work on 12 volts. Some on most of them are five volts, and the older ones are less than five volts, like a volt or two or three. See, you're not getting nothing there either. You probably burned it up when you hooked it in reverse. You know that the resistance is too high. Now you're getting a little voltage. Or ohms, rather. But most LEDs are just, since they're light at meeting, they're just used to emit light and light. Like 
the one that I had here. This one showed the direction. This come out of a tape player or something. Might be used to show which direction the tape is moving in, but but the arrows are pointing. Because you can't see this whole thing inside the case, and all you'll see is like the little tips and the light coming out. And there's also some green ones. And here's a pink looking one. And some, there's also a thing called an infrared LED, which is usually clear. And even though they work, when you hook voltage to them, you can't see no light. of the infrared. Okay. And LEDs could also be big like the ones we just had, or little like this. Another way, which is easier to test them, is just to get you a LED tester, like this one. All you got to do, insert the LED in there. Press the button. Green light means that the battery is good, but it's not lighting up. Put the voltage around. Now see it lights up, so that means it's good. We'll check the green one. Not lighting up. Flip it around. See it lights up. Same thing. See, it lights up. You can order these online at some electronic store that handles LEDs or a lot of your electronic testers to test your LEDs with. So now that I have shown you various ways to test your LEDs, I hope this is very informative for you. Thank you for watching.